I mean, remember, if you take a high dose <coughs> of ibogaine for addiction or LSD or psilocybin, you have what we now call the afterglow. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that afterglow, one of the things we know, and this is where medicine gets a little upset, mm. is we know there's no substance in your body. That's yeah. gone. Yeah. So what is the afterglow? The afterglow mm. is the system as reorganized in yeah. a way that makes sense. Yeah. Now, what, what, what I think is true of microdosing is that little microdose, little afterglow, which is why the protocol, that our research protocol, is one day on and two days off. Now, that, that was designed, people now use it as a kind of way of doing it. Mm -hmm. It's fine, it's healthy, it's safe, there's no tolerance. Uh, but we originally designed it as a research protocol yeah. where we saw there was a two-day window of effect. So what we wanted people to do is on the third day is feel the way they used to. Yeah. Yeah. So that if people then did this for a month, they would be able to tell the difference between on and off. Yeah. Now, what began to happen is by 30 days, they were, their system had reorganized enough so it was much harder to tell yeah. so now um, now people say well and I've seen this now the Fatiman protocol which I find very embarrassing uh. <laughs> research protocol yeah. but it seems to work well enough so that people with, with serious problems like depression and pain uh, find that that works for them yeah. and some people write me and say you know, I've done your pro, and the purpose of the protocol is people after a month would know what was correct in their own body. Mm -hmm. Because the idea that everyone should take the same amount of anything is as silly as saying, here is a piece of cheese. Everyone gets the same amount, no matter how hungry they are or how much they like that piece of cheese. Mm -hmm. we're, we're better than that. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the month, we say to people, do whatever you think is correct and let us know. And um, we used to have on our website, microdosingpsychedelics.com. Yes, that is a info commercial, if we <laughs> where we have information. And we have, we used to just have a dose of 10 micrograms. Yeah. But several hundred people have said, that's too high. Yeah. yeah. I find eight or seven works for me. Yeah. And we also yeah. shifted our amount of psilocybin again, down, because people said that the, the range we had was too high. We now have 0.1 gram to 0.4, yeah. because individual mushroom has an amount. So what we're finding is that microdosing um, is even more, so, a little more subtle than even we thought. Yeah. So uh, I'm not sure what, I think your people are telling you how much they're taking. We also discovered that. We, I, I just, uh, like two hours ago, we went for, for, uh, for dinner and uh, I said, yeah, like 20 micrograms that almost nobody takes that. It's uh, for a microdose, eh, for a mini dose. But that's, that's uh, also uh, what we discovered, that almost all side effects that people uh, uh, and report are because they take too much and then the set and setting becomes more important. So if you take too much on, a, uh, on your work, then yeah, it, it, yeah, you become anxious or you become uncomfortable or you, that sort of thing. The story that I tell is, as, as you know, lots of people who say, gee, if some is good, more must be better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Less is better. <laughs> mm -hmm. So is there anything you would like to like, add to your protocol or would you like, how would you define it today if, if you were to write a new book with because, uh, maybe a new recommendation. Yeah. Would, would because like a lot of people who uh, suffer from depression uh, report to us that they use it every other day because they don't want to feel the, the, the third day, like the, the, the observation day and the contrast. So. What I would say is if they've taken it and they can see the difference, <clears throat> then they are capable of dosing themselves mm -hmm. and that every other day makes perfect sense. Yeah. Now, there's another protocol from Paul Stamets, the great mushroom guru of us all, yes. who says take a microdose five days a week and not on the weekend. Yeah. Now, I have no idea what his, I'm sure his evidence is both personal and other people. Um, 
I haven't had a chance to ask him, is there any science behind it? Um, but clearly what he's saying is that prevents what we call tolerance, which is that it won't work as well, and that people benefit from it. And so that is another way. In, in my world, see, he's in a world where there's a lot of mushrooms. Yeah. I live in a world where I'm always trying to be thrifty and use as little as possible. So if it has a two-day effect, taking it every day is simply wasting mushrooms. Yeah.